I guess all of you know the Kodak film products. But did you know that Kodak also made hi-fi equipment? Well, probably not. Here we have the Kodak model PCD5860 CD changer. Now that's kind of weird. Why would Kodak make a CD player? Well, simple reason, and I guess you've already seen it. In the early 90s, Kodak introduced a system called Photo CD. And this is a photo CD player, but since photo CD only players would have been kind of hard to sell, this thing also plays audio CDs. It is a five disc changer and I found this at the dump a while ago and it's sold on eBay so I'm going to pack it up in, in a minute and I thought before I do that we would take a look at this thing. So let me turn this on and there we go. It's going to check if there are any CDs inside but there shouldn't be any in there can zoom in and give you a look at the features and functions. We're not going to play this thing. I don't think that would be worth our time. I mean, a CD player is a CD player. They all sound similar. But uh, there we have the main function buttons. Those are the buttons that you'd also find on any ordinary CD player. Have a standby on down there. And we have this display, which is now indicating that there is no disc inside of there. I'll probably pop a disc inside of there so we can see what the display looks. Now over here we have uh, some of the more advanced controls. Of course, the really advanced controls are on the remote control, which, of course, I don't have. You can see there is a scratch across the repeat button. That happened when I transported this thing from the car into this... Uh, into the other house, unfortunately, but um, for example, FPS, that's probably frames per second. Autoplay is another one, I guess. And reverse is, of course, another uh, thing that you can do with a picture. This uh, won't play CDs in reverse. You can see some of the features down there. Maybe we can get those Hope you can read that. It has 8 kilobytes programmable memory. That's a lot. There is the photo CD logo. Right there. Also have a headphone jack. And open this up. And we have the CD drawer, and in here we do have some more buttons. Load and Quick Play. Now, um, preferred position, it says right there, this is the first CD that it'll try to play when you close the door. Load, of course, turns the whole thing a couple of positions further. Two positions. And quick play is like, well, I don't know. This function doesn't really make all too much sense. Um, it basically just closes the, the door and starts playing and the whole thing automatically. I think that's what it's doing. Now, you can just quickly just notice I do have a couple of CDs up here. And there we have them. So we can just put some of those in there. These are just my test CDs. These two actually came out of dumped CD players that I found. Okay, that was, that was the wrong button. All right, quick play. And you can see, closes the door and... Hmm. Seems like we've turned it in a way that uh, first rates all the empty spaces, but there it goes. There it goes. And while it's playing, we can also make it go to the next disc. And 
and then you, for some reason, you have to press play again. And it's not the CD player that's so noisy, that is our neighbors building an addition to their house. If we press any of those uh, photo only functions, such as reverse, just says arrow in the display down there. FPS also says arrow. Autoplay also says arrow. So those are the photo functions on the unit. And this is the back of the unit. And this thing really does give you a lot of ways to get it hooked up to your TV. So you can see that blue jack up there is the SCAR jack, or on this one it's called AV Euro Connector. We have uh, super video out, we have uh, composite video out, and audio left and right, right there. And it even, even has a built-in RF modulator, as you can see down there. And there is the AC input. And of course, it's a class one laser product. Let's see, have a closer look at this thing. Made in Belgium. So it was probably made by Philips. Well, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and see you again soon.